Well guys, the 2022 Toyota Tundra was just spied with the Toyota Sienna and the Toyota Venza in a very snowy and harsh looking cold environment. So guys, before I get into these photos real quick and show you all, smash that like button. Let's try to hit a like goal of 750 likes. That way, maybe other Toyota enthusiasts who are excited about this new 2022 Toyota Tundra, this video will get recommended to them and then they can see it for themselves. So it's fitting. I'm in my first gen Toyota Tundra right now. An update video will be coming about this truck in a little bit about the transmission and just where it's been. But nonetheless, let's get into these photos. So as you can see in this first photo of the rear end of the truck, the back end is still covered up. Toyota is still hiding something back there. They don't want us to see it, whether it's a battery pack stuff, independent rear suspension, which we don't think so, or if it's just the different exhaust style, anything, any telltale signs that would give away whatever the powertrain is of this truck, Toyota is hiding it for sure. This one is definitely a uh, Crew Max model. It has the full four doors and it does look like a longer bed. Those other two vehicles there, it is a Toyota Sienna and a Toyota Venza. Why do we care? Well, both of those new vehicles from Toyota, you can only get as a hybrid. Basically confirming a lot of rumors out there that this new Tundra's power plant is going to be hybridized in some sort of way. So obviously, if it's with two other hybrid vehicles, testing in a cold, harsh environment, it, it may just be a hybrid powertrain that they are testing in this vehicle. Now here's a front end photo of the truck guys. Very big tall lights. The cutout is just like this spy shot that we saw from someone else. It looks like the Tundra at a plant. Very similar to that as well. So we know that that is basically confirmed. But the front end of this one is up a little high. Definitely looks like a, you know, a nice decent sized truck in the front. Very wide looking truck. The fender wells are very wide on this truck as well. So I mean, the Tundra has been a very big half ton pickup truck and it looks like Toyota is still going this way with this new generation of Tundra coming up. Coming to the last photo guys of the back of it, as you can see still, it is a four door truck. It, this one has the tow mirrors. The taillights definitely look like the taillights of this other video that was kind of uh, recorded when it shouldn't have been. So we're kind of starting to stitch this whole truck together. Motor Trend actually did a rendering of it right here. They didn't really get the taillights all proper based on some leaks. But if the truck looks anything like this, the front end looks killer. I love the front end. It may not be for some of you. You guys let me know down in the comments. But it basically looks like an overgrown size of a Toyota 4Runner with some different headlights, essentially. So it has that same contour of a 4Runner grill, of a Tundra grill, of a Tacoma grill of the current generation, but just more modernized with these newer lights and a lot of good lines and stuff in the front end of that truck. It looks, it looks really good. This truck, though, as you can see with the uh, rear glass, hopefully Toyota still keeps the full back glass that goes all the way down. They, they did it with the first gen. It's still there with the second gen. So hopefully the third gen has that. This one has kind of a little cutout in the back glass. Hopefully that's just for them to see out of and for other people not to see too far into the truck. So we're, they're not giving away the interior of the truck. But hopefully that full back glass does go down. And one thing that I noticed, and maybe it's just all this black camouflage on the vehicle, but the bed looks long. The bed looks longer than the five and a half foot bed on the traditional Crew Max uh, of this second generation or 2.5 generation. So it definitely kind of looks like to me a six foot bed. I know there's been a lot of rumors and kind of other spy shots kind of confirming that it, there's a longer bed coming to the Tundra. Of course, nothing official at all from Toyota yet. So We'll just have to see hopefully in the next couple weeks, maybe a month, because the Tundra may be revealed soon. We're not sure. They're doing a lot of testing lately. These photos, along with other photos, are just starting to surface more and more. Um, these ones were actually found on a Facebook group, a Tundra Facebook group, and then sent to me over on Instagram. So the truck is definitely coming along. Toyota was caught testing it in Los Angeles when it was hot. Um, going through mountains and stuff, probably of California and Nevada and Arizona. Now it's caught doing cold testing with other hybrid vehicles. They're definitely testing the truck and it is nearing probably its final testing phase to start to enter production if we are going to get it by the end of this year. So guys, those spy photos are very, very cool. I am overly hyped for this truck. I don't know why. 
I have my first gen tundra, but I really, really, really want to somehow be able to purchase this next gen tundra and the next gen forerunner that is also coming out. I feel like it would be very big for the channel. I would not sell this tundra at all because I know a lot, a lot of you have been waiting for the build series to start on this truck. This truck basically just has some transmission problems. It was going in and out of overdrive. It would shutter to go into overdrive. So we are still troubleshooting and fixing things on this truck, but it is in a good driving state, basically. Like I said, another update will come later on that. But a lot of you do want this build to start, and trust me, I do too. I'm tired of looking at a stock Tundra when that freaking 4th Gen V8 Forerunner over here just looks so stout and amazing. So, so I definitely want this build to start as soon as possible. But getting back to the 2022 Tundra, guys, some of the rumors that we have heard, again, nothing official, is that the V8 will potentially be going away. I just saw in one of my posts, though, also on Instagram, someone commented that the V8 will stay, but it's going to be the 4.6 liter that stays and not the 5.7. Again, have no idea because Toyota has only put the 5.7 in the Tundra for a few years now, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tundra guys. But some of the rumors are it's going to be a twin turbocharged, probably the 3.5 liter from the Lexus uh, side of the house that is going to be in that vehicle. And then also a hybridized powertrain, whether it's a hybridized transmission or if it's an electronic assisted motors to some of the wheels, not 100% sure yet. Other rumors also had this truck towing a lot of freaking weight. It's going to get great gas mileage, we've heard. So we are literally just waiting for this truck to get unveiled and just specs on the truck. We keep seeing it spied everywhere. Um, awesome renders and stuff. And then some not so awesome renders. Some lazy renders of just the front clip going on a Nissan Titan. Some very street looking renders too of, you know, the truck not really looking that good. And not obviously of what it is going to be because of some of the leaks we've seen. And then just also different photos of the front end and the back end. Um, some kind of shorter bed access cab models. Some with not tow mirrors. Some with tow mirrors. So... They definitely have a lot of mules out there. I'm not really sure where this uh, winter testing went down, whether it was Michigan or somewhere else that's been snowy and cold. But it's definitely in some colder climates to test out that battery pack to, or whatever hybridized system it has and just see how the truck basically reacts in its final stages before they start to enter production with this vehicle. But regardless, like I said, I am super excited for this truck. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait for it to come out. Can't wait to see the colors. Can't wait to see if they do a TRD Pro with it. What sort of trim levels they have. It's going to be game changing for Toyota to say the least because the current generation of Tundra I feel like is 13 years old now, 14 years old. There's obviously been refreshes, but the second generation and 2.5 have been around since 2007. And then 2014, I feel like was the kind of refresh facelift interior refresh of that truck. So it's definitely... Definitely been a long time coming, so excited to see what they finally come out with. So guys, if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. If you are returning subscribers, guys, I appreciate your support, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.